that sheep. They were, they were ready for this one. And the uh, question is, are OG going to be ready for it? I mean, you'd hope so. And again, for OG, each rider going to be very happy. As down bottom, yeah, our top rather, they're going to get the pressure Sunrise back onto Seb. Soul Assumption, he'll have it back up again. Is it enough damage for the kill? Not Dying quite. One for the courier snipe now, too. They drop down that healing ward, and on the bottom side, Taiga in some trouble. High trying to get the kill. One more punch is all that he needs, but he doesn't quite get the vision. Taiga and Amar with the outplay. That was fantastic movement through the trees there from Taiga. Just ensuring the last little bit of damage wasn't going to be there. Oh, no. Back to mid. BZM wasn't supposed to go like this. Tries to get away and will manage to survive. So, Seb, good job. Job making that rotation. So that could have gone much worse. And, oh, is he gonna die? That's a lot. Not quite. That was a little scary. It's okay. That's Makoto able to dodge the second volley of the Illuminate. Now, meanwhile, though, you're on up top. Look how low he is. He's stuck now behind this tree as it cut his way through. None of this feels good. No, because Seb's T being made to save BZM, which is great, because then he would have been doing the walk of shame back, but. This has got to be the most healing wards cast in a lane that I've seen like, in a very long time. Man, I wish I had leveled this up. It just feels <laughs> too bad to do it, unfortunately. God, and this courier is dead. He can't get the phase boots brought out. My man's just sitting there with a wand. Feels quite bad. And you're really going to steal your mental at this point when you're 14 lasses on a jug at six minutes. Gonna keep the pressure going, Yurok. He, he has no to spin. dodge. There's no spin. Seb tries to save, and good job with that, but it won't be enough. Oh, can't quite get a perfect angle there on this time, so Seb were able to... Did that loop, he held it the whole time, and Seb threw down the sentry, because, like, of course you'd want to keep up this pressure right as much as possible, so... I love that little loop that he did. And that's why there's a sentry behind the tower, and no ward to de-ward. Yeah. Zephyr still can go back in. So now you also have, though, uh, the opening up of the mid lane there, because the Caldo's rotating around. BZM looking for plays up top here, sort of messing with the stack as Seb. Okay, well, playing aggro with the tree. It's what they like to do, and Seb, pump faking the fissure. Eventually, too, too many. will not be able to escape. But KP, this is a good kill if they can turn it around onto him, and they will. So BZM actually comes in to secure that one. And you can see the hero who's right. letting Seb have these games. See if uh, Seth can make the carry play oh, happen. Bottom. That's 23 Savage. He's got no hammer. The link, the chase, the right clicks. It's not enough. Hide now. There with the nightmare. Trades over to Seb. Makoto will secure a kill onto this Earthshaker while Yuragi up on the top side. Getting chased down and spins away before too much extra damage comes his direction. Yeah, 23 Savage obviously does not want to go back home, right? Yeah, I mean, you're Dawn Breaker. You're going to have yourself a Luminosity, and he's holding the Solar Guardian right now. So he's trying to look around the map for these plays that they can make, but that's going to keep him low HP. Full stun. It's there. It connects on the birds, and, well, they get brought down 100 gold and potentially the kill. No, hi. Throws on out the Fiend's Grip, and that's enough to get the Visage away. Yeah, you'll take that. That is five heroes in your lane Radiant's failing to get the kill. There's also Makoto with the haste run on the bat right. You've got to think they want to make a play here. But they have to bring full numbers. They have the Solar Guardian. KP's coming back. TP in from Makoto. They want this bat. And they get it, though. Who's the target that they go on first? Haste run, Makoto. Thinking about popping it. He can't go near the Nyx. It's so hard. <laughs> Look, he gets him there. The lasso. Good spike carapace to interrupt. Taiga. He's going to be the sacrificial one left behind. He's weaving that thing around like it's like operation or something. You know, like, bzz, bzz. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be so cautious versus Nyx is He's menacingly standing there. And all they get with that rotation of five heroes standing up there is a Nyx assassin. So OG, I'm sure, very happy to remove themselves from that situation and only sacrifice a support to a normal damage that she's leaving behind. She now TP's into the mid lane after just dying. Oh, and goes in for the hammer. The spike hair for die. This is not going to work. Man, that one hurts. Back-to-back yeah. uh, -back deaths. Makoto wanting to make something happen here. Taiga is slowly but steadily burning. Uh, that's a max leech. He is going to die, but they might chase for more. If they're not careful, Makoto's solar bound. They have the Fiend's Grip. Trying to bring down Amar, but they break it. The Fissure from the side finds Hyde. And two dead hurt. for the Nyx Assassin.
It's all coming up OG. Yeah, it really is. And they are struggling to enable some of these heroes on Talon. Uh, KP almost into the Wraith Pack, which will help a lot, but unable to get a couple of these saves on 23 Savage because of that. And now you're at that point where you really feel the need for the Blink Dagger on the hero. Radiance Middle Tower is under They need a lot. Yeah, they certainly do, Radiant looking at that uh, total plus one percentage, huh? I mean, it's tough. And, and for OG, they, they've made the right moves. They've sort of held back when they weren't strong, and now they're really coming into their own. You look Radiant's at these next several minutes, and I mean, they could potentially... Uh, it's, it's a little bit tough for them to rush, I guess. Don't have any of that minus armor that's usually oh, no. theirs. Oh, no. Caught him again, Radiant's down bottom. Taiga has just been all over Savage this entire game, and... Well, the Makoto trying to play a little bit of interrupt on the other side as they're buying their time with the Dawnbreaker. And they find themselves at least one kill. The Razor does go down. Hey, I'll take that. Gotta get something. Assassin type heroes. This thing's just gonna run into him in the trees. Fisher connects onto both. The follow up aftershock damage comes out. Echo slam to put the emphasis on it as Yuragi also drops the big old ulti. Birds dead. There's bat riders hidden off in the trees. That was a slaughter. You would think they had vision in the area with how well that fight went for them. Radiant. Man, even the bird can't escape. Gets hit down Dang. there, and yeah, KB says they have a ward up there because his bird died, but it's just a lingering vision. High going spells. down, I, it's it's all falling apart. It's a crumble. No G. The ones with the hammer. They they look like they were a peach pie, and now they're a peach cobbler. Because I've seen a lot of that here in Texas. That's right. Yeah, the old peach cobbler. I tell you what, taste rune, and they are going to continue this stranglehold onto this triangle. Talon wanting to find. Uh, I guess just I guess more damage is really what they've got to get. They need to get into this BKB for Dawnbreaker so 23 Savage can play Dota. In the meantime, these types of plays just going to keep on happening. Show its full power when everybody's together. And, well, Taiga, again, no vision down. They dropped the sentry a second too late. And that means Makoto is already dead with BKB activated. Uh, OG, they can keep the chase going if they want. They got their eyes on the KP. Grave Chill tries to walk away, and a good job with a little interrupt there yeah. from the birds. And that's really the only thing they're kind of lacking right now, right? It's items for that big chase. But the Blink Dagger could be finished now for Sep if he wants. He also has the Aether Keyed up. Mm. So, I'm not sure if he's uh, nah, going to get, get real greedy, but yeah. It's the right play. I mean, but if you go Aether, though, you know that. Rocky runs back. And the smoke up. Oh, he got whipped. And now he is isolated. And 23 Savage, he is going to die again. The Dawnbreaker carry has not worked out the way that we thought it would. And I don't think it's worked out the way he thought it would either. Now, Seb finds KP. They're thinking about the chase. Yuragi, if he wants to, a little ring around the rosy, but they can't quite get him. Oh, after shock, breaking the TP. That actually got hide up on the high ground too. I think he was considering gripping Taiga, just like trying to get rid of the hero, but he couldn't even get him after that. Radiance top tower is under attack. 12k gold lead with the Aegis on the Juggernaut, and KP tries to hide in the trees. It's where Zephyr is strongest, but will it matter? Zephyr can't save his visage, the overgrowth, the root, the bird's there too, trying to burn him down slowly but steadily. KP surviving. Is there a chance that the turn will happen? And as a matter of fact, it actually does. Froggy there, but Zephyr walks in and gets the big echo. Oh, they were all grouped together. It looks so nice. And Tiger's tipping him while the fight's still going. Unreal. 23 Savage will manage to TP out. It was like a tease. He's like, look, he's living, guys. We, we can go fight. And they, they, like, moths to a flame. They just run into this visage, and then they all explode with Seb. Oh, God. Well, they did find Taiga. He <laughs> went just a uh, slow down. He's behind. They don't even need him. Echo. Rather, the Fissure didn't connect, but the Omni Slash more than good enough. Mosh to tip to Makoto afterwards. Why you gotta do that to him, man? Why you gotta do that to him? Fissure catching 23 Savage. The nightmare save, but there will be no salvation there. It's OG this momentum going and walk forward. KP can't really do the damage that they need him to as another tier 3 tower is going to go down. A great stun out from Taiga. Set there. GG is called. OG take a couple more punches from the bear as Taiga will retreat back 
and they continue to spar over this lane. KP, uh, a brewmaster hero that's kind of looked hot and cold at various points, and the lane oh, is effort. often where it can be a big issue as the root is there. Bushwhack, not enough. He was so close to level three where the bushwhack doubles in damage up to 150 as well, and that now gets it after a creep goes down. So there was definitely a potential that Taiga dies there. But just not quite on the XP. Just a great timing there from OG overall to go, because now you got your Augie at level four. Mm. In the meantime, down bottom, Seb is just zoning out both the other heroes. OG looking good across all three of the lanes. And if they do lose this one, Talon is definitely going to be eliminated. And hi. Seb. Oh my god. Just taking a lot of chunking damage from the briefcase, man. Yeah, uh. What's formidable that? foe oh here. My God. Yeah. He just denied three in his face. Oh, well, clearly his favorite voice line, by the way. He's been spamming this one a lot. No, that's good. Shout out to Tempest. Kodo. Yeah, he's he's doing a little juking and dodging there as there was a, a rebound and a dispo that would see in the mid lane. Does mean Yoragi's alone. And the main druid himself gets brought down at 100, 200 HP as well, I think. Makes it a little bit more dangerous. Oh. Hide. I mean, this is a, a good way to deal with Chen, it looks like. Makoto's coming. Put him to sleep. Can they kill him off? They do. Seb backs away. Makoto chooses a target. It's the Night Stalker. Can they get him, though? Second round. Couple more punches, but Amar just walking out, and they do find him. Six. Through Savage, the one that leads the last touch there. Yeah, a bit scary going for the, uh, the Night Stalker instead of just going on to Seb, but... Secure it in the end. Makoto heads back to that mid lane, but instantly 23 Savage being punished here by Taiga and Seb. Oh, that one hurts a lot more as they just moved in and killed him. Uh, it is still difficult. Now up top, they're moving in. Rebounded bear. Look at that thing go. Bushwhack. KP runs in. The tornado. Can they kill him? I do have a good chunk of damage there. Taiga trying to stop it with his bows, but it won't happen. Makoto turns now. Looking at Seb, Zephyr over to the side, the rebound, not going to connect. KP comes out of it, Bushwhack finds the Marcy. Meanwhile, the Dissimilate, Makoto gets away. EZM rotates in, tries to punch as they do take over the Centaur. The Bushwhack Seb coming. slowly walking out of there. But two heroes killed off on the side of OG. Talon. A couple of nice movements yeah, there. Yeah, these raindrops from Seb, they, they give him the confidence to move back in here. You need to get a bushwhack, then heal as well. Misses the bushwhack. And Seb, they move in. Uh, they come back to life as Tiger right on top of Zephyr now. Trying to hide away. Do they have a way to break it? The stomp is there. Oh, he's too fast. And the rundown. KP yeah. also falls. So it was looking good for a second. Sal, Zephyr trying to hide. Dodges, but eventually. Watching all of this. They smoke top. They decide that's where they want to go next. Chen and Brew are up in the north. Radiant and Mar down Seth's bottom. Try and bait something here. Can they do it? He does have ulti. And KP, I mean, I remember a game of his just the other day where the Brew looked really rough. Wasn't able to get things going for a long time. Uh, this game already halfway to an Aghanim Scepter as Unleash is tossed out. Push back high, down low, Taiga life stealing and off yield. of the Chen. It's so strong. Zephyr, can they kill him off though? Didn't have a pendant. Taiga getting pushed around, and well, Makoto, he does find BZM. Push back, blinding light, couldn't get the heal out in time, and they find Taiga too. So two dead. Amar pops ult. He decides he wants to run in. Zephyr, hoping to escape. Yoragi's there with the bear. As KP is no longer in the ulti form, the sleep connects. As OG surrounds so chasing down KP one by one by one. He's just so weak outside of the ulti. He's able to use it to bring down BZM, but uh, the rest of the team of OG just rotating. And again, using that speed and that chase down potential to ensure that you're not getting away with these wins just because you popped ulti. Makoto still stuck in here. They see him. Oh, but he can't chase anymore, really. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's got the Tumblr's toy. That's true. He can't be caught, right? Sure. Oh, he's, a, he's a risky guy. He's like, go ahead. Whoa! Blade. You might be able True. to save someone from an ET stomp, uh, potentially some of the Coddle follow up as well as the bear, but right now, a fear, chain stun, no chance. Okay, I don't even think he wants to ult there because his allies can't uh, get nearby because there's no tier one tower. But he is certainly dead. Yeah, they're waiting for a, a good fight to sort of present itself and it just has not happened. 
23 Savage. I mean, OGM just gonna like wildly run into them. Oh, they might. You yeah, never they, know. They're pretty known for that. You know, maybe. <laughs> they do have this one. Yeah, up here? I'm gonna go scouting, guys. Don't worry. Checking it out. Ooh, Kodo. That was dangerous. The Orchid, he doesn't have an answer for that. Uh, no heals yet. The fear in trouble and dead. Marcy, are they gonna bring down Taiga? Hex chasing, trying to get away. Taiga somehow living through all of this. Why is this hero a thing? The rebound is ready, but eventually she will fall. KP is in deep though, and the sleep there on it too. He, what doppelganger is on the wrong spot? Nice hurricane. A good chance, a hope, a dream, but Chen is dead. And KP out of ulti form, BZM chasing Orchid in 10. They don't need to go for it. They're just like the disablers over here on OG. Like, you're just getting slept with four heroes up on the high ground. By the time you finally get a fight, he jumped in from Makoto. And the initial jump from the Astral Step, he jumped into the Night Slogger Silence, and then he got Orchided. Meanwhile, four of his allies Dirty. are asleep on the high ground, just having a chase. Look for the rebound. Can they get him? The sleep is there, too. Just goes into the full combo. Comes from Seb. They try and bring down Marcy, but Taiga just backs away. KP right on top of him. And the rest of the team cleans up. Oh, the heal? Entire combo rebound out. KP can't bring him down. Yuragi getting mana drained, in some trouble, but the fear is there. He does have an ulti for round two, but he won't get it off. Three are dead. There are no buybacks available. And just like that, OG, they're going to claim a tier three tower, maybe more. They jump forward, dispose the PL, kick him on in. And everybody dead for nothing. BZM doesn't play the Coddle that much, but even just these games, I have to say, the way that they play the fights with the Illuminate is some of the best call I've seen. Like, I feel like everyone's always ready with the. It's away at that tower. KP. Not there to the best. Makoto, they just catch him instantly. They were so ready for that. He lands in the silence, the sleep. Four staff trying to keep him alive, but he still slept. The Illuminate Blast connects, and OG, they got what they came for. They get the Rex. KP. Uh, that's the last one left alive. Have to be careful about that one. And the fear. Oh! Connects onto both of them. Does he manage to escape? Brought down to low HP and already dead. 23 Savage is gone. KP also dead. Will buy back, but they're going to have to make do without the PL. As OG, they're coming to claim the last of the buildings. Was not managed to get his ulti off yet. The sleep, the silence, the chase, and KP is going to die. There's nothing left in the tank. Makoto also just running back to the fountain, but GG is called OG with the clean 2-0 here in the last day of groups. Yeah, Talon trying some stuff here with the Phantom Lancer and attempting to get things going in this game, but...